During the Second World War, your weekly meat ration was actually measured in a cash value. It was one shilling in tuppence a week, although at some times, some points during the war, it fell down to a shilling a week. Now, typically, that would buy you just over a pound's worth of meat. Now, if you went for a cheaper cut, obviously you'd be able to get a bit more. Go for an expensive cut, you get a little less. Now, sausage meat was at times rationed as well. It was from 1942 to 1944. So we've gone out and used one of our week, week's ration for, of meat to buy a pound of sausage meat. Now the important thing to remember is that during the war you had to make that meat ration last as long as possible. So we're not going to use that meat all in one go like that. We're going to make some wartime sausages but to do that we need to pad out the sausage meat to make sure it's actually going to last for a reasonable period of time. Into a bowl put your sausage meat and then some freshly chopped herbs. Again this is where having the allotment and digging for victory has been really useful and likewise half a chopped onion Again, onions were worth their weight in gold during the war and having the allotment to grow them was a really great bonus. The final two ingredients we're going to add are soya flour and breadcrumbs. Now, I've looked at loads of recipes from the Second World War and lots and lots of them have breadcrumbs as an ingredient. And the government, the Ministry of Food, was always pushing the idea of using breadcrumbs because it was all part of the campaign to cut down on waste. If you had stale bread left over, don't throw it out, turn it into something useful. And that's why the Ministry of Food produced so many recipes that included, uh, included breadcrumbs. And the reason why soya flour is going in is because that was actually something that was imported during the war. Very high in protein, but it is quite a food, it's a concentrated food as well, which is why it was able to be imported uh, and we were prepared as a nation to use some of our valuable shipping space to actually import that into Britain. But if you bought sausages during the war, you almost certainly would have had soya flour in them anyway. So we're going to add in a few tablespoons, tablespoonfuls of that into the mix and about the same volume of breadcrumbs as we have for meat, for sausage meat. After you've mixed everything together you then need to roll them out into sausage shapes. So there we have it, one plate of wartime sausages. 